He went random? Yep, I didn't look. He went random, but he got his main race. That's even better. I mean... I don't know how Bizarre is going to open up against that, but it looks like maybe just he might... I mean, does he go FS? Probably not. Probably BM. But... I don't know. I need TSE Ock here to tell me everything. He's not here. All alone. I have Panda, but you know. Like the same thing. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so ooh, bizarre. It's just going with the FS, it looks like maybe a attack. Dude. Wait, I'll ask myself uh Bizarre went like, okay, I want to veto the same maps as versus side. Maybe he was like, oh, Cubit is, a, is an undead player. Yeah, just do it this way. And then maybe he saw, oh, random. But he didn't complain. Dude, I mean, he can't complain. It's random. Yeah. All right. So Bizarre doesn't know what he's playing versus, and he decided to tech, which is, like, ballsy as shit. No, they are all the lumber... It's a lumber mill. Yeah, and but it's, it's a tech. It's a tech. <laughs> I'm just saying, like... Imagine if it was, like, Phoenix playing right now. There'd be a Tinker and Mass Ghouls in your base. Versus your <laughs> one burrow. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a quick HH war mill, but, you know. He didn't know what was going on, so... Doesn't know the race. I don't know. Like, I'm just surprised by that. I would think, like, for Orc, you'd play, like, a standard... Yeah, like, you actually don't want to go, um... You don't want to go Pinker. You want to go, uh, Beastmaster with Ghouls. Then you can cancel the second burrow and kill the first burrow easily. For those that don't know, pa uh, Phoenix claim to fame is almost beating Pato in a best of one on Amazonia. He knows his, uh... Shenanigans, that's for sure, though. Dude. Oh, man. Are you going to actually lose one? Nope. He might actually he might lose one. He shouldn't, but he might. Actually, my claim to fame is beating Qbert in Undead Mirror. I don't even want with a with a crippler two or hex school. I rush. was about to say I don't even want to ask because it's probably going to be exactly that. But you know, okay. So here we go. HH on the way out. I mean, Cuber got the one creep. He's going to try and just keep creeping with the FS being in his face. Uh, at this rate, Tam Tam, we might be here a while. I mean, we all have faith in Qbert, but I was hoping we'd have a Night Elf, you know, like Saron, who can uh, maybe pull out the cheese. Narbu is probably trying to figure out what he does versus Hitman, although Bizarre might know what Narbu does versus Hitman. He can't actually do anything about this. These are some nice surrounds, a little bit of XP. Kevin is a little bit lower in the list, I won't lie. Because Kevin was nice and he said, I'm available whenever you want. Every, a lot of other people had kind of like certain restrictions. So I just plopped Kevin in where I could. I'm already figuring out the next matchup. There might... I think uh, uh, the schedule is out of the window by now. It's... <laughs> it's scuffed. But... Yeah, whatever. Uh, Baron, I think you might be onto something with your wish. What wish? Concerning the race of the opponent. <laughs> There's a few. I don't know which one. Okay. Anyway, this was very nice by Qbert. He does pick off one HH. He's going for the set. Oh, he's got a critter frog. Frog block. Frog MVP. Okay. Bizarre in the middle of all that said, fuck you, Frog, for <laughs> for blocking me and killed it, even though his HH was already dead. 
I think, at least. Couldn't see what it hit, but I think that was the only thing that could have hit it. So, TC's out. Tigor does swoof, and he's going straight to tier 3. Probably, you know, wants his third hero. Maybe a tiny at some point. He is just creeping with both though. Like, he's not just like solo creeping the TC. Not that I know much, I just always hear screaming about like how you need your TC to be a higher level, so you know. A little surprised, but at the same time, it is only 3 HH because he did lose, what, 2? Two? 2 earlier to Qbert, and now Qbert's level 3, he's gonna go on the hunt. As per the rules of this matchup, you get level 3. You'd want to do it a lot quicker than he did. But he did get 2 HH at the start, which, hey, I mean, like, the whole point of going hunting is to kill HH. So if you can do it before level 3, cool. What did he spy? The main? I didn't even see. I like how you guys want me to rig it against... So, uh, Bizarre. Bizarre might just, like, if Bizarre... See, the thing is, guys, the king roll is going to the person who wins the most games. So Bizarre's already won three games. So not only has he netted $50, he's also... A player's forces are under attack. In a position, I'm trying to think right now, unless someone goes on a huge streak, he might just keep the king roll. Oh, I think I know who you're going to put next. And it might not be Kevin. But Cuber is looking so good right now. Very nice coil. He's taking... He's doing so much damage. He's keeping the HH number low. Friggin' HH, if you let him go, it's just... Tier 3 is going to be a nightmare for you. But the way it is right now... Level 1 FS, level 2 TC... Two and a half HH because this HH pretty weak. Three and a half HH. I mean, Cubert probably even wants to come back in because he has another coil, and that's why Bizarre's leaving it in the base. He definitely wants to just come back in, and he might just be coming back in because, well, he's got the statues queued. He's gonna get Frenzy Ghoul right away. He's probably gonna go back and get that orb instantaneously, as you should as an undead, of course. Are under attack. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to be go time. But the real question is, how hard is Cuber going to go? Like, do you go full on YOLO all in type go? Or is it just map control? We'll see. TC will be level three, though. And that's a huge level up. Huge. It's not a bad item, but he definitely could have gotten like 20 better items. <laughs> I mean, it might come out clutch, you know, all of a sudden, like, mana's missing. Woody, I feel like if it is rigged, I'm supposed to say no. Right? Okay. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, sorry, I uh, DMing. Uh, yeah, it's Rick. Rick, totally Rick. Riggity, riggity, Rick, Rick. <laughs> All right, pandas sliding into people's DMs. <laughs> yeah. It's not a king of the hill unless we make one weird reference to something. Oh horrible. yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> DR did go silence first, of course, but it does mean that we're not going to have like skellies rolling over bizarre. The silence may be huge, though, if the TC tries to get a certain stomp. Bizarre's coming in from the back with the FS, which is cool, but... Alright, there goes the silence. The It's going straight for the Kodo. Now he's going all over these... Oh, no. Bizarre. Not a bad stomp. And I like these little chokes. It's a little bit okay for Bizarre. He doesn't actually put anything in the burrows, though. So it's just HH versus these ghouls. But this is a really nice position right now for Bizarre. Like, the ghouls are just hitting the TC, which is kind of what you want out of everything that could be hit right here. 
He does have to TP back the FS. Uh -oh. He's kind of making him move back and forth. Will the king fall here? Will he fall? Finally. I'm the reign of terror of Pizarre will be over? Question mark. I'm a little surprised. Like, he didn't... The burrows weren't actually loaded up this whole time, so... Cuber was just fighting against these HH, so yeah, it's looking good for Cuber right now, but he is starting to get a little bit low on these ghouls. And now Bizarre is able to come out because the ghouls are weak. The statue is basically dead. And there's still the potential of just a nuke coming in and, you know, like ruining Cuber, uh, Bizarre's day. Like right here. He's got to be careful. He might want to siphon the mana of the DK so he doesn't, uh, wouldn't actually help. Nice. Very nice heal. Last second. Keeps him alive. All of these ghouls are so weak. And behind this, well, he's not going to be running out of wood anytime soon, but he is running out of units. And with, with, I really do feel like with, with builds like this, where you're going ghouls, if you lose your ghouls at the start, it's not just a matter of like, oh, I'll make more ghouls. It's like, I mean, you got to, but if, if you're not taking out enough, it, it's, it's a very snowball-y type of strat. Hubert's going to try and probably rely on hero levels or something, but... It, there is 3-2, well, 1-3-2, one, one, I guess I should say, for the uh, orc. I can count on the mace. <laughs> I meant hero levels, not three heroes, damn it. Alright, Bizarre might lose, though, because his hero, name was, hero names are ass. Oh, I didn't check. Zulmaran? Tigor Dusthof? Hoof? Gor Rimwolf? Nah. The, uh, the reign of orcs is over. The age of orcs is over. Uh, let's not kid ourselves. It's 50 food to 52 food. And five of it's in the destroyer, so this seems a little bit. Uh, I would definitely want the orcs army right now, let's put it that way. If the DR can get level 3, maybe Cuber can start rolling some. Uh, skellies, you'll get the R or the Skelly level two. You don't really need a bigger silence patch, so it doesn't really do much. Definitely are gonna Cubit. go for the Skellies. Yeah, that uh, Cubit knows what's up. He scouted uh, the Merc creep with the wolf. Cubit creeping for an expo. He knows. Cubit does he knows where Cubit is. He does have a TP. He can choose. Yeah. Oh no, that's gonna be a dead he statue. Left the item. He left the lightning shoot back and he lost one statue. Ooh. Yeah, pros don't like items, don't you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, inverse. Uh, no, inverse. Silence on the TC. Oh god, that stomp. He's going to be relying real quickly on these destroyers at this rate. Go right. down. But this is what I mean. The, the DR can start... It's going to start snowballing all of these little uh, skellies. Three destroyers raining in from above. He has mana on the DK for days. That is a dead ass siege. He hasn't I mean, used... Yeah, it, it will get dispelled the lightning shield. Phoenix, the, the orc player, wand of mana stealing away. Uh, the rain, dude. No offense, guys. I like everyone on this list, but I kind of want Cuber to win just because it would be kind of poetic. I mean, I want him to get the king spot. 